beautiful people welcome back to my channel i am danella paku your friend and health coach and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the foods that i keep in my kitchen that helps to control diabetes so if you're a diabetic person or you're a diabetic uh, caretaker please stick in stick around with me while i share with you some of my favorite foods that i keep in the house that helps me to naturally control diabetes the number one food i keep in my home that i don't joke with is leafy greens yes that is scent leaf ubu spinach these are vegetables that are high in fiber dietary fiber and also helps in the delay of absorption of carbohydrate into your system leafy greens are very they are loaded with vitamins and minerals and also helps in fighting free radicals and inflammation basically it increases your immunity so if you have them in your, around your house put them in your food put them in your smoothie put them in your salads whatever but make sure you have leafy greens in your house the second food i keep in my home where i know that is really going to help me is okra okra is um, high in both soluble and insoluble fiber now these are fibers if you're a diabetic person you know that you need you need fiber in your diet now okra is really rich in it and okra is Research has shown that okra helps in the reduction of blood sugar in the system. Now, how do you eat okra? The best thing to do is to dice your okra and put it in your soup. Okay? Dice your okra and put it in your soup. Or you can have okra water where you soak it in the water and after two or three hours you drink the water. I also did a video on that too. Okra water is very good for you. So have okra in your home preserve it in your kitchen use it anytime it's very good for you. the third food that i keep in my home that i use a lot is chia seed chia seed is i don't know how to start to explain to you the importance of chia seed but this is how chia seed looks like they are tiny but they absorb water because of its high content of dietary fiber it's also rich in potassium and magnesium and it also has good amount of protein and omega-3 fatty acid now omega-3 is good for you because it helps to prevent um, your heart disease and also your high blood pressure and the rest is good for your heart good how can you eat chia seed just soak it up a little and make a smoothie with it or you can soak it and take it like your morning cereal you don't need to cook it because it will just soak up the water and becomes gooey and soft and mix it with your milk and also add your nuts and eat and it will fill you up all through the day they are small but mighty but very powerful have chia seed in your home you know the fourth one nuts and seeds yes nuts and seeds that is like almond nuts pumpkin seeds these are all important for your diet because they are filled with fiber they are rich in protein they are rich in healthy fats in fact good is good for you to have nuts in your home one thing i always advise is moderation don't overeat it a handful of it is all you need for you to get your required intake of fiber protein fat potassium and even calcium all put together and these are all good for your wellness for your body and how you go about your day so please moderation is key the food i keep in my home is lemon lemon is also a good citrus food for you as a diabetic person because it is high in vitamin c and because it's high in vitamin c it helps in increasing the alkalinity of your body system so if you are having lemon always have them you know in the morning time or right after you eat your meals 
if you are also in having lemon because of how it causes a little bit it causes uh, should i say corrosion a bit corrosive to your teeth try to mm, use straw if you can use straw or when you are done drinking your lemon water just rinse out your mouth but people say ah lemon is not good for me it spoils my teeth yeah but it's also good for your system another food i keep in my home that i always make sure i have them readily available is grapefruit do you know that if you eat one whole grapefruit you have gotten your daily intake for vitamin c so vitamin c is one thing you need as a diabetic person so have that pink grapefruit in your house it's a bit sweet it's a bit bitter it has a bit of tarty taste but it is good for your body have them and also it increases your body immune system so try to have pink grapefruit around your home okay the next food is strawberries strawberries are really high in dietary fiber they are very delicious you cannot do wrong with strawberries because strawberries are loaded with your vitamin c's your nutrients and fibers that are good in regulating blood sugar if you're having your strawberries have them with your yogurt eat them as it is have them in your salads and you are good to go strawberries are your number one foods to have next food i would love to talk about is broccoli broccoli is high in fiber and it has been acclaimed to be one of the most healthy vegetables you can have around broccoli is in the family of the cabbage and uh, these are all vegetables that you need around you broccoli aids in the in digestion and also delays the absorption of sugar into your blood system because of the high fiber content so if you are eating your broccoli it's not hard just dice them put them in your salad put them in your food put them in your, in your vegetables your you can put them in your eggs mix them up just enjoy them anyhow you want another food i keep in my home is ginger now ginger is very very good for digestion it also helps to um, reduce bloating when you are taking it but one thing i know that ginger is good is it helps in your insulin response that is it helps in how blood sugar is being taken up into the system now if you are taking ginger be also aware especially if you are taking it with medication try to um, check your system and see how your body responds to it but i would advise you to have ginger as a in a high quantity or in all your food when you know you are taking medication so try your best to um, modulate try to regulate your intake of ginger because i know ginger is really 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 good for diabetic people you can have them as teas you can put them in your in your drinks you can even put them in your smoothie ginger is really really good for diabetic people and i always advise to have them in your home another food which i would love to talk about is garlic have garlic as much as you want in your home garlic is good for you it helps in the prevention of heart disease it's taking over a period of time and it doesn't it doesn't hurt you to have them it it it, it smells it has a pungent taste a smell but it's also good for your system all you just need to do is make sure you maybe put a gum in your mouth after you have had them but garlic is good for your blood sugar i have them in my home and like i said this is a random video and these are the things that i have in my kitchen another thing i have in my home again that i love to talk about is cocoa powder cocoa powder the unsweetened one is really good it helps your blood vessels it helps to improve sleep it also helps in your blood sugar regulation it's bitter yeah but it's also good for you if you put it if you want to enjoy your cocoa drink just make sure you make them like with your hot water and then you can sweeten with a little bit of stevia you will enjoy it more than adding the 
loading it with milk and sugar that's not the kind of cocoa drink i'm talking about i'm talking about pure cocoa drink that is good for you as a diabetic person so try and have cocoa powder in your home and use them as a cocoa drink take them in the evening you will enjoy it okay so another food i keep in my home is turmeric now turmeric has a property in it called cucumin and cucumin is really potent for fighting diabetes why because curcumin has anti-inflammatory properties what is anti-inflammatory it is anti-inflammatory because it helps to fight off infect infection yes let me just say inflammation is like infection fighting free radicals increasing your body immunity okay now how do you take your turmeric you can have it in the in the in the evening you can take it like a tea you can put it in your smoothie you can put it in your food anyhow you want now how i want you to do the, do me a favor if you are taking turmeric try to combine it with a dash of black pepper black pepper helps in the absorption of cucumin into your system they both go together okay like five and six okay so try to put black pepper in combination with your turmeric anytime you're having it another food you should have in your home is beans any kind of beans is good brown beans white beans lima beans all the beans that you can think of beans is good for you okay now beans is rich in potassium it's also rich in calcium and rich in dietary fiber if you are having your beans enjoy them the way it is cook it anyhow you want mix them with your rice eat them with your with your potatoes your yams they are good for you now how do you eat your beans a lot of people say ah i i react to beans so anytime i eat beans i am bloated i i fat a lot the reason why you are doing that is because you are not cooking it well all you need to do is soak up your beans before you cook it soak it like two or three hours before you cook it now discard that water before you start cooking again that is why you see people say ah i have bloating i react to it remove that discard that water and then start cooking it afresh and you see that you will not feel anything at all this is good for you it's good for everybody eat it how you want okay and you will enjoy it Another food I have in my home is cloves. The Hausa people call perin perin. Okay, now you, you see that this these are spices that they put in drinks like uh, zobo and um, some kind of juices. Now cloves have antiseptic powers properties. It helps to fight off infection and also helps with bloating. Okay, now cloves. Have been shown by study that it helps in the reduction of blood sugar. Now, if you want to take your clothes, this is how you will take them. Soak it overnight. Okay? Soak it overnight. That water is what you are going to use to make your tea. You will enjoy it. It helps. It calms your tongue somehow if you are taking it. And be taking it, do it like on a daily basis over a period of time. Clothes are good. It seems nice. It's good for you. It's good for your system. Now I have them around my home because not only me that take it, I also give my children we have them with the drinks and it's very, very okay to have. Another food I have in my home is locust beans. Yes, locust beans. In my place we call it Okwe. In the house I call it uh, Dawa Dawa. People call it uh, Ogiri. The robbers call it Tiru. These are these are natural seasoning and they are fermented they are rich in protein and a good source of probiotic probiotic are the kind of foods that improve the good bacteria in your in your colon so it's very good to put them in your soups and your stews and it's actually very sweet you can put them in your food it actually people use it to replace our regular seasoning um, over a period of time as you eat it helps you your body adjust now let's talk about green beans green beans is also a must-have for me i have them in my home and um, 
it helps it's high in fiber it's high in protein and when you have green beans it absorbs slowly into your system and it doesn't spike your blood sugar at the same time you can have them anyhow you want one of my favorite ways of having green beans is that i cut them up just like beans and i cook them like beans porridge i put ice fish and you see you enjoy it so much because green beans is um like it's low in calories at the same time giving you the necessary nutrients that you need for the day so you can have them with your protein or as it is but green beans is a must have for me like i said you don't have to have them in this order but i'm just sharing with you the kind of greens i have around my house that has helped me over the years to control diabetes now let's talk about apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is another drink that like apple cider infused drink not apple cider drink apple cider infused drink is another kind of drink that I advise you to always have, especially in the evening before going to bed or first thing in the morning. A small research has shown that apple cider vinegar, when taken in the morning or in the evening, helps in the reduction of blood sugar um, the next day. So taking apple cider vinegar has become part of us in this home and I advise you to also do the same. Now, if you are taking apple cider vinegar, there is the one that is the real apple cider vinegar with the mother okay and it's the Bragg's I actually prefer that one because it's really made with the mother and it has properties that helps in reducing or regulating blood sugar so have them around the house put them in your water drink them after your food is good for you now let's talk about aloe vera now, aloe vera is not just good for your hair or your skin aloe vera is also good for your body well that's taking it internally and it does nothing harmful to you instead it is your friend when it comes to a reduction of blood sugar and insulin sensitivity the way to take it is for you to blend it peel it off blend it and then mix it with warm water and take or chilled water and take now when you take them you will see that your body um, is responding well um, it's doing well after it, it doesn't spike blood sugar and it helps to reduce um, blood sugar so take them take it after your meal or take them first thing in the morning okay aloe vera drink is actually very good it's bitter yes it's bitter but you will enjoy it your body will thank you for it okay? another food i have again in my home is coffee black coffee now if you are having coffee I always advise that you do not sweeten your coffee with added sugars and load them with all sorts of additions here and there. That is where you're going to be having problem with your blood sugar. But taking coffee as it is has helped me tremendously with blood sugar regulation. Now, if you are sensitive to caffeine, you can cut it out totally or take them minimally but if you do not add them to your add them to your to your diet have them once in a while take them both sweetened with stevia or unsweetened as it is in low um, in small quantities and see how your body responds to it remember as a diabetic person all you need to do is to make sure as you eat something, the way you respond to it is by you checking your blood sugar. If you see that it's not good for you, discard it totally or reduce the way you take them. Another one food I know I would love you to have in your home is a tea. It's called green tea. Green tea is very good in managing your blood sugar. It has no sugar in it. It is made from dried leaves that has been dehydrated and used over time. So all you need to do when you are taking your green tea is to see, maybe diffuse them in your hot water, put a squeeze of lemon in it and you will enjoy it. Diabetes is not a death sentence, okay? So if you are taking them, you can even still add a little bit of stevia to it. And enjoy yourself 
teas are good both uh, green tea um, chamomile tea uh, hibiscus tea these are all teas that you should have around but one thing that i always have handy is green tea green tea is very very good for a diabetic person managing diabetes so that is all i have for you today like i said diabetes is not a death sentence it's only a call for you to live a healthy strong and happy life for yourself and for your family if you have not liked or subscribed please do that i would appreciate it a lot and help me to share this video with someone that will need this kind of information if you want me to keep sharing this kind of videos please put a comment down for me like subscribe okay till i come your way again love you bye enjoy your life be content and live a free healthy happy life bye